The abdomen can be separated into four quadrants, making it easier to pinpoint the source of the pain. However, in most cases pain will resolve on its own. Following organs are located in the upper left abdomen. Pancreas, spleen, part of stomach, left lower lung, left lobe of the liver, left kidney, left adrenal gland, upper left sections of the large intestine. Although the heart isn't in the upper left abdomen, it can refer pain to the area. So, heart attack can be life-threatening cause of upper abdominal pain. One of the most common symptoms of a heart attack is tightness, pain, aching, pressure, or squeezing in your chest or arms. This may spread to your jaw, back, or neck. Heart attack is medically emergency condition. Other causes are more common, but less severe. We will discuss most common or most important causes. Most common causes are bowel problems, such as stomach ulcers. Stomach ulcers tend to give you pain in the middle of your tummy just under your ribs. The pain may be worse after eating or when you are lying down at night. Antacids may ease the pain. Indigestion, dyspepsia. You can get some pain in the upper part of stomach, it is associated with a heartburn and acid reflux. It tends to be worse lying flat or after meals. Also bloating is common. Constipation also can cause discomfort anywhere in abdomen. If bowel movement is not regular, then it can be because of constipation. Irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, is a chronic condition involving a group of intestinal symptoms that typically occur together. The symptoms vary in severity and duration from person to person. Symptoms include Abdominal pain or cramping, usually with diarrhea or constipation. Stools with a white mucus, bloating or gas. An inability to finish a bowel movement or feeling like you can't finish. Another important cause of upper left abdominal pain is pancreatitis. Signs and symptoms include. Abdominal pain that spreads to back, abdominal pain that's worse after eating, stomach tenderness. Fever, vomiting and nausea, increased pulse rate. An enlarged spleen, or splenomegaly can be caused by a number of diseases and conditions. Infections are one of the most common causes of an enlarged spleen. Cirrhosis and cystic fibrosis can also cause an enlarged spleen. Symptoms you may experience with an enlarged spleen include feeling full even after eating very little, back pain on your side, back pain that spreads up to shoulder, an increased number of infections, shortness of breath, tiredness, 